And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Champion of fly. Catchy, right? <laughs> Herald of darkness. Lost in dirt. Swedish brothers, Bergel. I did it. Let's move forward. Well, you know what? Let's swap the saga. Right. Quick save. Then we'll swap the saga. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Excuse me. Cult of the tree. Oh, shit. Huh. Nope. <laughs> no doubt. Scratches after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deerfest clothes. Go. A <laughs> yarn puppet monstrosity. The uh, stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. <laughs> Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. <laughs> Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our own dear diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! And some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not haunted. <laughs> Come 
Children Mocha Moose and the Goats at our amusement park pig zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. <laughs> I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. We've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. What, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? <laughs> from the floor. From the toilet in the corner. I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Okay, 
So I have to find the trailer park. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure, Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskel owns it. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hmm. Well, this is mighty peculiar. Hey, Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery, Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Huh. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Mm -hmm. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. I need to figure this out with profiling. Yeah, you do. Still can't use that.
Trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Wake says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spear key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. All right, Lake, let's see how powerful you are. What was that? Okay. Night rules don't apply anymore.
I guess I can get back on the trail, huh? Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! Huh. You know, I'm curious about something. I don't have a shotgun for Alan. Let's move a flare. Access by Saga. Never mind. <coughs> yeah, it's a dusty cabin. After this chapter, I'm going to call it for the night on the streams and uh, on the YouTube side. Uh, I guess wait till next video. But uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to call it after we finish this Another chapter. Another locked box. And we'll continue tomorrow. Hey, if you take the crossbow, put it back. Uh, P.S. I changed the code. Five, two, seven. I don't wear a mask, and it's mine now. Fucking cultists. I'm gonna 
Alright, save. God, <laughs> his face so meaty. <laughs> I was hoping not to face any combat here, but no. <laughs> Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Let's see. <laughs> you know, I haven't even spent these damn things yet. Taken was momentarily out of action, but not for long. Saga raised the sawn-off shotgun to stop it once and for all. Bet. Curious if there are deer cultists and scratch cultists. Both infused with darkness, but not helping one another. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. 
The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Okay. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. With. I guess I can finally get that screwdriver. There's another cold stash. Only striped cups. Seven Let's say, do not take what's yours. That's eh, fine. The people here clearly needed all that ammo. Place is a nightmare on its own, even without the shadow people. If I ever get the pleasure, I think I want to share a cup of coffee with Sam Lake. When you ask, Marisetta will speak.
You can't tell me there's no tools in the back of that truck. Gotta be a screwdriver somewhere. I feel like I'm going to have to fight a giant pot of coffee at the end of this. That's a dead guy. Always good to have a screwdriver. Damn right. I personally would use one of these axes. Just as a backup. Or a tool. Yet to use these. Thank <laughs> you. 
damn it. Well, now there's less monsters. True that. I'll save the med kit for when I really, really need it. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. The hell? Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Yeah. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Okay. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. The photos have stickers on them. One, four, six. All right. The keys to my trailer. <laughs> now to find the clicker and the colt. So, okay, yeah, no, I'm just stupid, okay.
He's just a silly little guy. Okay, we're going this way. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. For the Anderson trailer? What? Sweetie pie, right on time! Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Sarasoka. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> hey. Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Yeah, we'll chit chat with you. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. Thank you, you Tor. Can come see us anytime. Thank you, Ode. Resting place, Valhalla. Nursing home. <laughs> this is the. Oh. Reeks of booze. A pun book from Ilmo. 
Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Huh. There's a kid. Logan, I think it was. Do you think we missed our show? Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. This card has mom's handwriting. Hmm. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real, too personal. Mom wants to stay on our good side. <sighs> My new found relatives, cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker, in the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carly Vala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home, right after I find this biker workshop. No. It's not Aga, it's not real. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. The fuck? She's at school. story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... Stay where you are. 